Hello and welcome to MageNet's instruction video on how to configure the QuickBook Desktop extension for Magento 2. For QuickBook Desktop users, please install the QuickBook Web Connector before using our extension. After installing the integration, please enter the button and go to QuickBook Desktop tab. Click on Configuration. When the page opens, you can see there are four basic settings, connection settings, mapping query settings, synchronized settings, and debug settings. Let's start with the connection settings. There are four boxes, QuickBook Desktop version, company, username, and auto-run setting. You don't have to choose your QuickBook Desktop version since the integration will autofill for you. Choose which company you want to connect. The company box shows the company you have connected before in Magento 2. Next, choose the username to connect Magento and QuickBooks. You can create one by going to QuickBook Desktops. Click on Manage User and then Add New User. Auto Run setting helps you automatically map data from Magento 2 to QuickBook Desktop after a predefined time. In this video, we set it at 100 minutes which means your data will be remapped after every 100 minutes. Click on Query Company to download the company connector to your desktop. Open the QuickBook Web Connector and click on Add an Application. Choose the Connect Company file. An authentication pop-up will appear. Click OK on the authorized box. On the QuickBook application certificate, you can choose among four options. If you choose no, you don't allow the file to run. If you choose yes, prompt each time, it will ask for your permission each time you open the web connector. If you choose yes whenever this QuickBook company file is open, it will run whenever QuickBook is open. If you choose the final option, it will always run even though QuickBook is not open. In this video, we choose the fourth option. After selecting your options, click Continue and then Done. Open the QuickBook Web Connector. Choose whether to let your file auto run. After clicking Update, your company will be connected. In Magento Backend, it will appear that your company is now connected. In the next setting, which is the Mapping Query Settings, click on Query Taxes in the Mapping tab to download the Query Taxes connector back to your PC. Open the file in QuickBook Web Connector. The setting and authorizing will be the same as in the connection settings. On reminder, company and query just need to be connected one time. You can decide whether to keep or remove them from the QuickBook Web Connector. On the Web Connector, you can also set up to turn on or off the Auto Run function. Mapping is not required to be set Auto Run. If you choose to turn off the Auto Run, click on Mapping tab to start mapping your data from Magento to QuickBooks. After the mapping query settings, we will introduce the synchronized setting. In this setting, you can set up how to sync customer data, products, order, invoice, credit memo from Magento to QuickBooks. When clicking on the box, you can choose the time range from the calendar to select which data range you want to sync. Under the synchronized product setting, you can choose what elements from Magento will align with QuickBooks. The same goes with order and invoice setting.
In the credit memo, there is a box called Max Record Per Request. In one request, you can sync one or many records. The number depends on your server. Usually, the store owner will pick the number between 5 to 10, yet you can set it to even 1. Then click Synchronization from Magento to import these documents to QuickBook Web Connector. Finally is the debug setting. This is a setting that supports the debugging process. In the box, choose yes if you want to save logs in the record and no if you don't. Here is the end of our video on how to configure the QuickBook Desktop extension for Magento 2. Hope you have a great experience with our extension. For more information, visit our webpage at www.store.magenest.com or send email to our support team at support at gmail.com.